guys, I, as I told you yesterday, I'm going to show you my speed test with my new modem. I went to my cable provider and registered my modem, so they have it set up already. I went to return my router slash cable phone modem, only one, and they give it back to me because I need that phone modem, which is the uh, EMTA, and this is all they have available. I still have the same modem, but I'm not going to be paying a uh, rental fee of $8 because I have my own modem. Uh, when I was there, I told the guy I needed cables and a splitter. And I was given this package, which include uh, one 12 feet coax cable, two 6 feet coax cable, uh, 25 foot Cat 5E, 25 foot phone cable, and a two way splitter. Basically, I'm gonna need. There we go. These are the cables they gave me. Three coax cable, Ethernet cable, Cat 5, phone cable, and a two way splitter. What I'm gonna need are the coax and a two way splitter. Uh, my system originally was hooked up to this router and I had my own uh, router. This modem without the router being connected because that was extra too. If I used their built-in router I had to pay an extra $3 fee. So I have my own so I just plugged it in. Uh, but now what we're going to do is take the cable that we had originally connected to my modem right and we're going to use this the splitter so i'm going to plug in my coax cable coming out from the cable company and i have split it i'm gonna plug in sorry i should have had this ready for you guys but it's all live all uh, right this is going to be my new go to my old one and this is my new one it's back in the box so I'm gonna take it back out I should have this ready it's not ready also uh, I don't want to break the plastic I'm gonna have to break the plastic no I don't it just sealed up here Well, it's a, a real unboxing now. My power supply. Here we go. Ignore that. It's, we were playing earlier and uh, forgot to turn it off. I need one more coax. I'm just throwing this onto this right now. Uh, later on, as you can see, I have a big mess of wires. I gotta reroute these wires and do some wire dressing up and cleaning up. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw a thing on it. So everything's gonna be dangling in a mess, whatever, you know. Let's go back to the splitter. Into my uh This is my Ethernet cable that was already on my old router. I mean, yeah, in my old router. So we're gonna plug it into the new modem. And we need to put the power supply to the old modem again. We're gonna plug this in. Okay, I'm plugged in. I'm plugged in. 
Uh, one more thing I'm forgetting is my foam wire. Alright, so now the new the phone wire goes back to the telephone one. So basically you're splitting your wax cable comes in, splits into two, you put one onto your router, your modem, I keep on calling it a router, it's a bad habit, and to your other modem. This modem is for this big modem just for my phone. And this is for my internet going into my old router. Okay, so we are connected. I'm gonna go back to my computer and find out what we have. Hopefully everything is done through them. Uh, let's go. Okay, I'm not connected. Let's see what's going on here. Refresh the page, it's old. Uh, okay. Ethernet. Access network. Okay, that's your local connection. Okay, now let's see what I got to do. Let me go check on my lights. Maybe they're still loading. Okay, it's blue. Okay, we're on. What about the router light? Yeah, everything's on. Probably. No. Maybe I should just connect it and reconnect from there. From the network. Let's try it. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it took a little bit long to load. Alright. Uh, let's go to my uh, pre test. Uh, Alright. Here's our true test. See what we have. Uh, yesterday we have. I don't know. I don't remember what I had. 66, you said? Something like that, yes. This ain't that much difference. Why? They said 24 hours. So, it's not taking me 24 hours. I'm up to 63. Hmm, right. See, that at least it's 20. Nope. Going up to 14. Well, I might have to tweak some stuff here, so I'm gonna. Let's do a test again. Same speeds. Not that big of a difference. I gotta find out what's going on. Why I'm not having the full speed I need to get. Uh, they're supposed to give me 200 in 24 hours. So, anyway, so far, same as results, same as yesterday. Uh, but that's basically how you connect your modem, your phone, and your router. So, I do recommend you. Turn the old one back in, save yourself eight, six dollars, five dollars a month and have your own modem. And if you need a modem for the phone, they have to give it to you free of charge. That same modem I have, they were charging me a monthly fee. Now they're not gonna charge me. I st even though I still have it in my house, in possession, they're not gonna charge me because I have my own modem. So I hope it answers any question. Anything, leave a comment below. And um, hopefully I'll get back to you guys. Okay? Take care. Have a good one. Let's see what's in the box. Okay. Let's 
Thank you.